welcome to the Architect of Fate streaming extravaganza. That's right, you found the self-proclaimed original Twitch TTRPG stream that lets you shake up our world. Now pay attention because this is how it works. If you'd like to add some loops to this roller coaster ride of the show, you're gonna need fake chips. Now these magical loyalty points can be earned just by watching, following, posting, subscribing, or just engaging with us in the chat. It's like free money, people. With your fate chips, you can use your powers as an architect to heal your favorite players, summon items that will make their adventure a lot easier, or a lot harder. You can even make players say or sing outrageously silly things. Think of those possibilities. But, but wait, 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 there is more. You can also toss our unsuspecting heroes into random encounters that will leave them sweating, strategizing, and questioning their life choices. All it takes is a quick redeem command in the chat. You choose the item or action and the player you want to mess with, and we'll take it from there. So sit back, relax, and prepare yourselves for a mind-blowing spectacle of storytelling and mayhem. We've got adventure, we've got drama, and more surprises than a clown car at a kid's birthday party. So let's go! Hey! Hello all you architects of fate, and welcome to Cookie Trek. I am Simon, and with me is my good friend, Rufus the Robot. And uh, this evening, we have another installment of the show Cookie Trek, where we take some randomly generated Star Trek themes, and with your help, we try and break down a three-act Star Trek episode. And we do it while relaxing and having cookies and trying not to let Mr. Goliath Man hijack the entire stream. But he's the only one watching, so we're doing this show just for him. So, uh, Rufus, uh, do you want to talk about tonight's Story and tonight's cookies. Indeed you do. Uh, hey everybody, how's it going tonight? Is uh, y'all having a good week? Uh, well, the week is over, isn't it? So uh, tonight's threads are discovery of a sentient rock, gas, liquid, or light. Unexpected presidents. Pres <laughs> An unexpected presidency. <laughs> I I feel we lived through that in 2016. Oh. Yes, that yeah, was very unexpected. Pregnancy, pregnancy, unexpected pregnancy or birth. Mm -hmm. uh, the ship explodes. I mean, honestly, that could just end everything, couldn't it? Um, and tonight's cookie, believe it or not, we finally got around to Scooby snacks. So Scooby Dooby Doo. Uh, what can I say about these? Honestly. Uh, this is exactly what I imagined a Scooby Snack to be like when I was a kid. <laughs> it's kind of like a hard dog biscuit. Um, it's shaped like a little bone. It says Scooby on top of it. Uh, but, of course, it tastes uh, like um, graham cracker, but, but much more tough. You know, much, it's got much more of a bite to it. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a little bite and chew it so you can hear it. Oh, that's some crunch right there. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I will say these are exactly what I imagined as I something very exactly grim. Yeah, what? I mean, poor Scooby. Yes, uh, well, Scooby, Scooby was, Scooby was pretty hungry. Scooby and Shaggy were both very hungry all the time for some reason. Um, that's true. I don't know why, but yes, they were very hungry. And um, yeah, so we got we got the Scooby snacks. I'm I'm enjoying them too, even though they're dog biscuits and I'm a cat. I can live with it. You're taking uh, a walk on the wild side tonight, aren't you? What? I said you're taking a walk on the wild side tonight. Yeah, well, I'll see. I'm I'm gonna say you know, cleaning myself versus these. It's a toss up at this point. <laughs> One or the other is gonna get the taste out of my mouth from from the other. <laughs> um so what we got is <laughs> we got we've got us a story we've got us a star trek thing 
we do have us a story. So um, yeah, what what where do we where do we want to begin? In uh, was it in Pernamatabodum or whatever it is? Uh, boy, I am so tired. I cannot even. We are very tired. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna roll not, up I an think engine. Are we just starting in, in the middle of things? It's in medias res. If you ah, thank be you. All uh, fancy, but okay. boy, I just don't know. I don't know if I've got the fancy in me tonight. I'm. It's been. All I weird. say is somebody is gratifying their emotions. I yeah. I mean, I I do have a an initial idea, but I don't I don't know if I want to go with it because I think it's gonna be kind of complicated, but. Oh God! You're you're wait. We're all tired, and you're saying let's go with complicated. Well, it is and it isn't. Uh, I mean, actually, I got a couple ideas, so maybe okay. we should, maybe we should air them out and and see which one, you know, gets some traction uh, okay. or or up the flagpole. I'm just gonna mix a lot of metaphors right here. Uh, one of the um, one of the uh, ideas is we do a Sesame Street crossover and the sentient rock is Chloe's pet rock, Rocco. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> That's just one idea. Here's yeah, I'll keep going. The other idea is that we are uh, transporting a very popular music group and they're sentient. They, you know, it's like all of them. It's a sentient rock. It's a sentient light. Uh, uh, like, like, there's four of them. Uh, one of them is a rock, one of them is gas, one of them is liquid, one of them is light. But they're all sentient, and they're in a band. Okay. Uh, it's a, you know, it's going to goose through ratings, isn't it? <laughs> so those are my two ideas right off the bat. Uh, but I am, I you know, what can I say? You know, I love it when the ship explodes. I just want to. Maybe the ship should just explode, and we call it a night. I know. Wouldn't that be really... Well, you know, there's that... One of my favorite episodes of TNG is is when uh, the ship explodes in the teaser. And, uh, you know, they, they're they stuck in a time loop. And I love time loop episodes. You know I do. Oh, I know. I know you love those. That's... But it would be hilarious to think of, like, the teaser is where the ship explodes and then the credits just roll. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna do that when we're tired. I mean, if we were feeling, you know, our, I don't know how bleak or how how bleak is the world right now. Do we just want to explode this ship <laughs> and go home? The USS Fan Service just does not make it. <laughs> doesn't doesn't make it through the show. It's like we're we're done now. We're done, and, and then next week we just come back and reset and don't mention anything about. It. That that would not be new. Uh, <laughs> I want to do something new though. Um, all right, hold on. All right, uh, well, Mr. Glassman's forcing us to go to, to Star Wars. Star Wars, wow. Can we bring Elmo? No. I Look, I'm the one that has to look up all this crap on the internet, so I'm not so sure I'm excited about this. I think it'd be really easy to find Elmo. All three hooks could tie each other up pretty cleanly. Oh, yes. There's, a, there's an unexpected pregnancy. Someone says... Not if my not if my work career breach has to say anything about it and just wipes them out. <laughs> now the things you'll do. Things you do to avoid I a mean, paternity suit. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, abortion is illegal, so <laughs> just blow up the. Sh Star Trek has a lot of accidental births, considering they're like two hundred years in the future. Mm -hmm. I mean. You know, it could be, be the, the sentient objects. They're all pregnant. Uh, <laughs> well, how are we going to get over to the Star Wars universe? Because apparently that's what we're going to get. What's, what's, what's going over the Star Wars universe? I don't know. Mr. Glassman oh, says okay. a portal opens up, which this is more of what I call a miracle, Mr. Glassman. But to be honest, who cares? Um, well, it's because we can we can bring in Baby Yoda for for a ratings goose, you know. I'm bringing in Baby Yoda, um, and, and Elmo. Well, actually, I think Baby Yoda is the unexpected birth. <laughs> we're, we're using that at the end. Uh, sentient whatever gets the ship pregnant and it just fucking explodes. Yes, that's that's exactly what I'm thinking. Mm. Um. Okay, I've got a, I've got a plan. We're gonna start with a, with a baby Yoda. And 
her jumps to take him back home. How's that? Oh, we're gonna take him to Luke Skywalker? <laughs> no, we're taking him back to his real family. No, his real family? Oh, that's crazy. Who are they? Mando. Mando. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, let's give him back to Mando. That, they're a okay, because we really need a ratings boost. I, I love a single dad story. <laughs> yeah. A loving single dad. Uh, let me see. What do we got? I've got a scene teaser. <laughs> <laughs> it's a... Uh... Yeah. Congratulations, it's a ratings grab. <laughs> it's a bug hunt. No, I like ratings grab better. <laughs> We'll work on bug hunting a bit. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stay just to one universe at the moment. I mean, I mean, seriously, we should plan on doing an aliens crossover. <laughs> we, no, I'm not doing Gorn. <laughs> Apparently, that was a thing. Okay. Um. Star Trek resources. Uh, we have Mister Hot Dog Man, remember, but nobody was entertained enough to bring him back. <laughs> Um, we're going to be in sick bay, or is this really unexpected? Where would the really unexpected birth be taking place? <laughs> um, gosh, where would an unexpected birth I do like the idea we open, we open on a scene of, uh, we're about to have literally a warp core breach birth. Oh my god, what a horrible pun. That is a horrible pun, janitor closet. But I love it. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm going to change Warp this to Warp Core Breach Birth. Warp Core Breach Birth? It's really catchy. And, you know, catchy they didn't say, it. they said the ship explodes. You know what it does, really? Mm. It explodes in joy. Oh, oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's a warp core breach berth. Uh, the captain is going to lead us off with the captain's log. The captain's actually talking? Uh, somebody's got to make a, somebody's got to do a, a log entry. Mm -hmm. So you have some choices. Who is the person who is having the baby? Um, oh, oh, uh, his boyfriend. I'm not, I don't have his face. It's okay because they, they. I don't they, have his token yet. <laughs> Here's the thing: that they, he could do the log and then just disappear for the rest of the episode. <laughs> nice to do the log. Uh, I don't have. I don't have the freaking captain's boyfriend, uh, so we're not bringing him over. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna rule that character was unavailable <laughs> uh, for. Yeah, that character was totally unavailable. That, that actor was unavailable to us. <laughs> Willem. Okay, we've decided that Willem is going to be giving birth. To a baby tractor. No, no, to, to Baby Yoda. No, Baby Yoda. Because baby. baby Yoda is going to prompt us to go to the other Star Wars universe. That's that's my thought. Um, okay, let's go and grab, and grab Willem. He's, all, he's like fifth string. Mm -hmm. He's on. He's on slide five. Okay. Oops. Um. Whoops. Captain's log. Yeah. Is it the captain? Is it like the engineer's log? Is it gonna be fucking cook's let's, log? Let's, let's have the captain do a log and then not show up. <laughs> Oh, he's just going to do the voiceover. That's, he's just that's a voiceover, it. He's, he's, he's got a, vo a voice. The captain's log is always a voiceover. Uh, nine, 99 times out of 100, it's a voiceover. Um, in order. Uh, Ender became. Pregnant by a space anomaly. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Okay, that then it's that sentient light that came through the wall and got Troy pregnant, right? Yeah, that was just not good. Uh, the bus to contain this is main engineering, because that's, of course, where we're going to go. Well, he, you know, he finds the, the hum of the warp core soothing, don't we all? Oh, I think that he's going to sit next to the warp core. Um, <clears throat> what I want to do is something more horrific. Um, okay. Let's come back. There we go. We'll just put the gut for down down there for the moment. He is going to be sitting on top of the warp core. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's going to vibrate the baby out of him. Yeah. Well, also, um, I've instructed the <laughs> If something hideous pops out, we will eject the <laughs> core and <laughs> detonate. Absolutely. So basically, yeah, they they, they got their finger on a button that that if, if, it, if things go sideways, they're getting rid of William and the. Uh, you know this this surprise birth thing is probably it's probably more common than they'd like to admit oh it is we got protocols and uh the pro mm -hmm. one of the protocols is we'll wipe it out uh who is in attendance of this uh actually let's put we men in there because it could be uh you know some some timey wimey stuff could be going on that so oh, i think i think oh we men's going to be very important to finding out where the new baby comes goes oh yeah yeah Okay, uh, who else is around? <laughs> does, anybody, does anybody else even want to be nearby? Like, does Lynn uh, want to be well, here? Yeah. Is... I, he's a noob friend to everybody, so he's got to be there. Yeah, noob is just going to be there. And let's have, um, well, H and B. Uh, it's, it's engineering, isn't it? Huh? We're, we're in engineering, right? Uh, yes, yes. So H&B should be there, and she's boring nah, I don't water. know if she wants to really be around for this. Well, you know, she's, she's there to she eject the warp core. Yeah, yeah, and she doesn't want him making a mess. You know, there's just all kinds of things. Okay. Uh, so I think that's that's a good one. Is Dr. Lind in, or is he just calling, calling in sick today? Um... <laughs> Yeah, let's bring Doctor Lin in. I mean, come on, this is you know, it, it's a, it's a, yeah, yeah. He's he's a good enough doctor for this kind of thing. Okay, um, he's conscientious, isn't he? He cares. I don't know if I'd go that far. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far. Yeah, you can actually do better voices because you're not dealing with a synthesizer. Um, yeah, Dr. Lind is there, and, excuses. and I gotta, I gotta go and dig out, uh, something here. Yes. Um, I thought I had this actually cleaned up. Because it used to be Google search, and now I don't know where it thinks Google search is coming from. That's the discovery flag. That's fine. Gradient file frontier. Architects of fate. Come on. I'm just trying to find my, uh, my, 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 uh, all right, well, I'll just add another source then. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, no, I know. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a window capture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I believe it's at existing. A window, okay. Hmm. Well, yeah, you're, you're right where I need you to be. Oh, good. All right, that's what I got. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 
Sorry, I'm kind of losing my losing my grip here on exactly where it thinks things are in this in this thing. That's okay, you know. It's kind of interesting to see how the sausage get made, don't you think? No, I've watched <laughs> sausage get made. It is not interesting in the least. <laughs> no, it's not interesting. It's horrifying. It will turn you into vegetarians, though. Uh. All right, so uh, I've got this back. Um, what we're gonna do is do good old fashioned images, and we're gonna call it Baby Yoda. Cute. Yeah, that's just wrong. Okay, um, I can't find any that are really good. I, I want to I wanna steal some of the Etsy ones. Well, I swear there's no such thing as a non-cute picture of him, is there? I don't like that one. Yeah, I'd like him to be in the egg, like he just comes out that way. Yeah, it, it's going to be painful. Oh man, poor Willem. Yeah, it's going to be painful, Willem. Ouch, Willem, you're going to have to spread... <laughs> this is gonna be bad. We're gonna get you loosened up. It'll be okay. Is it epidural? What is Dutch? What is what is Dutch for epidural? Just relax. Here's some poppers. <laughs> <laughs> yep. For the younger crowd, good luck on that. <laughs> I don't know. Is that still a thing? That's <laughs> uh, not still a thing. I'm sure it is actually. I mean, yeah, supposedly, you know, Paul Lynn died of a popper's overdose. What? I know! <laughs> they're like 8,000 years old. What one-liner we got? Oh, yeah, no, I, I see where we're headed with this. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, you know, again, the uh, baby pops out, and, and this happens. Uh, let me see, copy to uh, order. Bring to front. There we go. <laughs> you ever been in Haley's Comet? There. That's how I'm gonna do that, Mr. Glassman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they say it together. It's real cute. Oh yeah. It's a it's a bonding experience. <laughs> It is Baby Yoda. Okay. So that gets Just us like through. His father. That gets us through the freaking teaser. Okay. Weeman is on hand, and Weeman does Weeman immediately recognize that this is not this this baby does not belong in this franchise. Um, actually, no. I think that's maybe that's where the sentient light comes in. Is is but, Weeman? Well, that's the parent, or that's, I was going to say that's the father, but I guess they're both fathers. <laughs> but like, like, I think Weaven has to spend some time with the, uh, <laughs> with, <laughs> with the sentient light to figure out what to do. Oh, I was figuring that baby Yoda would, um, Okay. Oh, Yoda's gonna just know where to go. Well, Weeman, well, no, Weeman, 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 Weeman knows where he belongs. Definitely, yeah, Weeman do definitely sense that something is wrong. Yeah. And actually, it'd be funny if Weeman said, "Oh man, I feel a disturbance in the Force." Mm, no, no, Weeman arrives. Hmm. Weeman just arrives. Oh yeah, he just walks in. Yeah, and then says, and says, "I felt a disturbance in the force." <laughs> that way, that way, that yeah. all kind of squares up. End of commercial or end of teaser. <laughs> end of teaser. Okay, now, um, yeah, and we and we do immediately get a notice, a notification that. Uh, from Lucasfilm and Disney. 
I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna let that go. I believe that it's important that Lucasfilm and Disney both are converging on the Enterprise mm. or on the um, fan service. Okay, so are we in? Are we in the ship's kindergarten? Or or where are we? Oh oh um. Yeah, this is Act One. Or is there a nursery? Is he gonna go? Oh right no, it's a, the yeah. This is a, well, of course. There's a nursery. There's a ship's the ship's mm -hmm. nursery. Okay. Because of course there is. I mean, that's exactly how this is gonna work, right? Mm-hmm. Uh. Star Trek ship's nursery. Yeah, there it is. Something more <laughs> insane than anything is. I know, and I have a bunch of puppies, and Baby Yoda tries to eat them. Oh, it's so cute! Open image in a new tab. There we go. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like that they just decide that they're... Yeah, this was also... This was from that episode. Oh yeah. Where they where they stuck him in there and suddenly he like grew up like five years, six years over mm -hmm. since the time she dumped him off in daycare. Um Okay, so we go back to production and pick up Tool with Rufus. And here we are. And I'm not sure quite why that's not working the way it should, but okay. Okay, so uh, Act 1 is the nursery. Mm -hmm. uh, do we just dump the baby off? Well, you know, uh, Willem's got a job to do. Yeah, I guess just dump the, dump the kid off. This is the most 80s thing I would ever, <laughs> the most 90s thing I, would, I can conceive of as well, you know. Well, well, you know, he's got a key to the he's got a key to the quarters. Latch <laughs> key. <laughs> yeah, basically space daycare. So off you go to. The <laughs> uh, baby Yoda shoved into the ship's nursery. But what else? What else would he do? Do we just leave him there for right now while everybody goes and? Does other baby other things? Well, I guess we got to go to the uh, conference room. Unless we want to have the conference right here in front of him. Nah, I think um, it costs money to be on set. He's a puppet, so it costs us money to, to build him. So <laughs> so we, we, we see him very little. Yeah, we see him very little. Just enough to piss off the lawyers. Yeah, yeah. Um... And, yeah, so what we're going to do is I'm going to bring the conference room in just to give Mr. Goliath Man just enough of Baby Yoda to make him happy. But that's it. Then we're done. Then we cut him off. And then then you've got to pay with a lot of conference rooms. There's a lot of conference room scenes in Star Trek. Man, whoever was mowing just... Has sprayed gas all over the all over the neighborhood. Yeah, it just feels like there's a leak in that machine. You know, there's like a, it's just yeah, a cloud. Neither one of us can smell, but we can still smell. Yeah, um, here we are talking about reality here. Yeah, here we are. Yeah, it's like oh yeah, it's not all bread and crumpets or whatever. <laughs> okay, it's not all Scooby Snacks over here, man. <clears throat> what now? <laughs> Uh, does Willem get involved, or is it, do, are we, have we just taken away all parental rights from his ass? Yeah, let's just, let's just, uh, take this into, you know, because that's kind of what they do. <laughs> you know, like the, the senior staff sort of figures out what, has, what to do here. Yeah, it's like, you're, you're Willem, Will, you go back to driving the ship. <clears throat> yeah, go back to the helm, your realm. I think Weeman's got to be involved because Weeman knows things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does Lind even care? Uh, I think we'd be Dr. Lind and let's bring in Cat. Okay. Uh, is the captain not even going to 
give a rats about this? Is he going to show up for this meeting? Well, you know, he's done his voiceover. Yeah, we can't get all of the actor. He's he's on a cruise. <laughs> I like the idea that all we got was an audio audio clip of him, and that was it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cat's cat's second in command anyway. So yeah. Yeah, this is a personnel issue. I think that this falls under personnel issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh. To personnel. Now I gotta know. Oh, it's two ends. Okay, got it. Why does no one help me with these things? Okay. Um, uh, cat commander, commander Cat Carson. Uh, all right. So, what are we? What are we gonna talk about here? We got. Uh, you know, do we, uh, does Weeman come out and talk about, like, this, this creature doesn't really belong here kind of thing, or? Uh, I guess the question would be is how, how precise is Weeman in, in his, his vibe in, you know what I mean? Well, how precise does the plot need him to be at this point? I, I mean, if we want to get going towards Star Wars land, uh, we should just say, he just, he just knows, you know. Yeah, he says a force is on the way. I mean, I, I guess you know where's where's the issue here? Do we? Uh, do we oh well, our ticking clock is that Disney's lawyers are on the way. Okay. I mean, we get it. We get it comes. I guess we got to get there and get out. It get comes out. from Disney. Yeah, we got to get going. Huh? You know, uh, return return the um, remove the remove the remove the uh, child. Mm -hmm. And they call it the child. <laughs> and um um the gr the group the group's response is baby yoda hold on just a second i'm gonna steal these because i like the thought balloons that that are that way mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay we're doing this for the jokes even though i was i've been told that this is takes forever and it makes people sad <clears throat> uh this is how it should be Mm. They don't let the kid back. They just want him removed. Mm -hmm. I'll remove the child from your reality. And I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need fake chips. No, I'm gonna need, um... I'll go with Disney Space logo. Hmm. <laughs> Futuristic Disney logo. I kind of like that that pond animation, but <clears throat> yeah, I like the idea of we got a floating city. Oh, oh, I like that. Looks looks pretty cool, and it has a crayon on it, so we're just gonna use that. Excellent, excellent. And that goes right here over the view screen. And what I think is going to happen is that everyone is going to uh, respond in in unison. Uh, it's you know, it's explosion. Um, and Weeman's going to respond with Baby Yoda. How about that? Because mm -hmm. Weeman's the only one that has an idea of what he really is.
Uh, let me see. Da, da, call outs, call outs, call outs. Or, or, or Weeman just thinks it. Uh, just other than us, whoever is the best fighter. <laughs> oh, dear God. A redeem object. You guys don't actually have to use any redeems if you don't want to. Or are we, are we do? we're just, we're just saying the words, right? You're not using up your chips, right? Just other than us. I just want to make sure. Yeah, I don't think there's any chips at play. Um, no. Well, maybe, I don't know. Okay. I don't know how it works. I, I don't know how it works either. Okay. Um, um, remove the child. And I do like this. We could theoretically wander in to um, Mayberry territory on this, but I don't think we need to bring him in. I'm yeah, putting this on the burner to let people know it is a consideration, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> Okay, so just otherness has a redeem. Uh, forgive me while I, I do some housekeeping for redeeming. Uh, redeeming stuff. This is why we need producers, right? Who is the best fighter? Uh, in this room, I'd probably say Cat. Okay, we're going to do that. <clears throat> yeah, they used whatever this upside down exclamation point thing is. Okay, good. Um, makes me happy. Okay, so I do like the idea, and what I'm going to do is go into cheap Star Wars knockoff toys for this. <laughs> Bad knockoff lightsaber. Oh man, they, even now you still can't freaking do it. I like star star swords, but I also like a pop a lightsaber popsicle kit. <laughs> I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna have to be a racist here and go Chinese. Seriously. It, it will only give me, um, actual, it will, it will literally only give me actual lightsabers, uh, with, mm. a, with a query. Uh, that is the most ridiculous thing ever. So I really can't look up crappy, crappy knockoff lightsabers. <clears throat> the light beam. Yes. <laughs> So is it something she just had in her sock, or you know? I think I think so. Um, or does it just appear? Or? <laughs> I think we're gonna use this. It's from Timu. Oh. Even better. Oh, it's from Timu. <laughs> Even better. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna put that in the back pocket somewhere. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh. For right now, <laughs> there's an object. We're just gonna put that there. Yeah, this needs to definitely be done. Uh, it needs to be done in Photoshop. Give me a second here. Photoshop. <clears throat> yeah, I have to start thinking about what dinner is like, too. Yeah, Mr. Glathman, things are coming your way, too, by the way. So, mm. I'm just going to let you know that that's happening. Oh, come on now. What the heck?
There. Alright. This, this is how we're gonna hit this. <laughs> this is how I'm, I'm not gonna... I like that it comes with an attached hand. Yes. So you can sort of grab it by the wrist. <clears throat> okay, and image, invert. Where's the invert thing? Inverse, remove all that. Do this. Ah, uh, where is my... Here's my paintbrush. The splatters. There we go. Okay. And uh, it's going to be like just blood everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that. I think that is a sufficient uh, lightsaber for the gag that we're about to do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let me give this a little bit of a... A soft feathered edge here. Because oh, lovely. I don't know why I suddenly decided that was important. But hey, Very this lovely. is what you'd expect no less at Architects of Fate. I mean, it's true. If we it's stayed on task... All the way. You would think you were watching a show. Quality all the way. Uh, so let's go same as. Where do you go? You don't go into Strange New Playtest. You go up a level to pictures. And then you go to... Star Trek Adventure Solo. And you go into PNG. Yeah, sadly, you can't see all my dialogue boxes popping up, but okay. It's good. We know they're there. Uh, yes. That's just going to be how they go. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. So we go back to Rufus. Mm -hmm. Back to the thing that was wrong. I think I'm doing pretty well to be able to just whip out art here on the fly. I mean, I can tell you're a pro. <laughs> <clears throat> Your Photoshop skills, chef's kid. The hell's the the I am in the helm and the helm is my realm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Weeman is gonna show up with it and give it to somebody. <laughs> I don't know what he's gonna do. I don't know when we're gonna drop the drop the item, but I I'm good with it. Mm -hmm. It's ready when we. It's ready when we are. Okay. It's ready when we need it. Uh, back to, back to the show. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, so now what? Um. There we go. Uh, falls under personnel issue. Okay, so we have to remove the child. Uh, does Weeman have an idea of where Baby Yoda comes from? Yeah, I guess he's just sensing it, you know, like they do. Oh, I love the idea of, um, in a, the redeem line for this will be long, long ago in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> yeah. It's long, long ago and far, oh, so we're going to have to travel in time. <laughs> Slingshot around the sun, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I'm thinking we just open up a, we open up some kind of a hole. Uh, someone did use the word space anomaly mm. uh, for what it was worth. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it'll be a long, long time, a long time ago in a galaxy far away. <laughs> and I love that this immediately causes us like, oh crap, we don't have the, you know, we can't reach that. Mm hmm
uh, what I want to do is then, then uh, uh, Act Two should be some kind of way to make this happen. You know, mm -hmm. how do we how do we get there? And since someone's already brought Star Wars into it, we can just I I I didn't want to bring additional franchises in, but hey, we can bring other franchises in, or we can declare we have a spore drive. Oh, I think we bring it in. Um, yeah, I'm thinking either support drive or, um, because I want to have an in-universe option if it's not, if it doesn't come from chat, we should stay with our in-universe object option. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but before we, before, yeah, no, uh, yeah, we'll have the laser fight in Star Wars. Will that be better or not? Or will it be better to... Oh, I think the next scene should be just us figuring out the anomaly and getting there. Yeah, how do we how do we find it? Okay, so mm -hmm. yeah, so we need some kind of a. I'm gonna declare this like scene two. Mm-hmm. Oh, act two. Oh, act two. Sorry, scene act two. Um, yeah, how do we get there? And uh, are we in the lab? Are we in industrial physics? Uh, did we find something on a nearby planet that, or do we go back to this? Oh, yeah, we should probably go back to where the anomaly is. Yeah, I think, you know, we, I, I think finding out that the, here's the sentient thing. It's going to give us, it's going to give us some help. Yeah. <laughs> the place where, um, Willem got knocked up. Absolutely. And I like the idea that it's going to be upset. It's going to be worried about paternity. Because this mm. is not the first passerby that this cloud of whatever mm -mm. knocks somebody up. In my opinion. This is this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a real horn dog. Oh, yeah. I think it's I think it's a very, uh, I, I believe it's a very uh, R-wordy uh, sort of situation where mm -hmm. this thing just goes by and uh, makes whatever's, whatever's passing by without knowledge or consent. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, let me see. Okay. So we go back to where they got knocked up. Uh, <laughs> uh, are we on the bridge? Are we going in a shuttle? You want to just go in a shuttle? Um, well, let's do that because we, you know, let's. It's probably going to be one of those things where we can't. We don't want to get too close to it because we're really afraid this is going to happen again. Somebody else is going to get pregnant. Somebody else is going to get pregnant. Okay. Yeah. So we 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 take the shuttle. Okay. And are we taking Grogu with us? I think we take both of them with us. Yes. Hmm. Uh, I don't think I actually, of all the things, I don't think I actually have a shuttle. Oh, I thought we had a shuttle. Okay. Well, well we don't have to do a shuttle, then. We we'll just do... Oh, no, no. We're going to do... No, we're going to take the tractor. <laughs> I believe we take the tractor. Uh, why? Because it's funnier that way. Uh, should I actually try and file... New thing. I'm just gonna clean up. I'm I'm gonna clean up somebody's shuttle. <laughs> yeah, the worst part is like with these items. All right. Okay, clipboard. Okay. Undo the size, go over here, back to Photoshop. Uh, file. New, sure, there. I'm gonna just do this. And boom, instantly. Instantly we have a cleaned... We're gonna have a, a wonderfully cleaned tractor. There. Which I like. I'm, I'm here for this. Um, file, save as, feel very Eastern European when I'm talking about tractor. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, there's the tractor, non interlace. Uh, back to this. Um, now we're gonna bring in an actual. Uh, bring in the actual tractor. Love me some tractor action. I love the tractor action, and I like that it's transparent in the background now. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it fits a little better into the scenes. It looks a little, you know, it can actually do, it can actually sit on things like that. Um, okay, uh, we're going to go in, put you in the tractor. So the, we're in the tractor. Because I think it's the only thing strong enough to uh, withstand whatever this thing is. <laughs> so what is this? What is this? Is it is it like ga a gas cloud or something or what? Um, <clears throat> it could be a gas cloud. It could just be a great big light, like a light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> just hanging out in a light bulb hanging out in space. A light bulb hanging out in space. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do the light bulb hanging out we in didn't, space. We didn't really notice it when we went by. It was turned off. Oh no, I like the. I've got a. I've got another plan for this thing too. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Uh, there are four lights. <laughs> no, well, that would be good too. I mean, they're 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 all they're all very good answers in my opinion. I'm gonna get rid of this particular screen and there's there's Willem in space with his tractor you know <laughs> I think it's the coolest thing in the world um so you're talking about having a light of some sort mm -hmm. there are four lights yeah I you know I think that they ran a train on him I think that all of them got him pregnant <laughs> I think I think that there were four lights and they and they ganged ganged him. Um, okay, how do I do? I have lights sitting around or not? Now oh, there's one, two, three, four, five lights here. Damn it! Ah, here we go. Best Buy. There are four lights. Oh, yeah, there they are. There they are. I know them anywhere. <laughs> oh, and they're, they're like all bitchy with each other. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, they're still looking for the next score. They're not bitchy with each other. They're bro dudes. Mm -hmm. They're, they're the, uh, the people no, that you got to cover up your drink around. Mm -hmm. uh, I will say light bulb or bear is now the new question. Mm -hmm. Um, was it's how I would look at it. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's... If you could choose to be in the woods with a light bulb or a bear. You should have kept five lights but claim it was four. <laughs> All right, I'm going back. I'm doing, I'm doing what Nat said. I think Nat's right. Because they should be gaslighting pieces of shit, too. Oh, the, the gaslighters. That's it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, why not have two at once? <laughs> uh, apparently gas lights. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, there they are, right here. <laughs> What is gaslighting? I'm not worried about that right now. Mm. Uh, the nice part is they're out in space. <laughs> so they're hanging out. I kind of imagine like a, a, what was the think tank? Oh yeah, just like think tank, yeah. Like think tank, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, although I am going to grab these other lights too. Uh, and put these both into NPCs.
<laughs> yeah, I like the idea of that. Um, unexpected birth. I'm just going to put that in now. I format that text. Mm -hmm. Break that out. Uh, Star Trek resources. Go back. Put, put these things somewhere with our lightsaber. Yep. Uh, all right. Uh, so we have the giant, we have these gas lights, and they're yeah, going to, uh, I, I think that this is even funnier. So we do have to bring William back, Willem back, because only Willem can drive the tractor. It's just so cute, too, the little tractor spinning around those gas lights. <laughs> We've made some weird choices. <clears throat> Yeah, that almost feels like a crossover you'd see on Red Dwarf. What? The... Uh, a little a little tractor out there in space. Yes. Uh, we're going to go Anton on that. The gas lights. <laughs> oh, no. No, dude, I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know. They're absolutely going to do this. Chaw. <laughs> Chaw. <laughs> Bro. Bruh. Oh god! Yeah, they're definitely they're definitely gonna be dicks about this. I'm gonna get rid of that. It's called the Aristocats. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Good Devil would not let that go. One day, he would not let that that um uh, uh, he would not let that catchphrase go one game session, and we just had to put him down. Oops. It's all catchphrase buzz. Okay, there were four lights. Um... He says that I gotta bring Willem in. We gotta bring Willem, Baby Yoda, Willem, Baby Yoda, Weeman. One copy of God Verdam. Does Noob need to be involved in this at all? Probably. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Noob is involved with everything. I mean, come on. And here's the question: Is he breastfeeding? What's he doing? <laughs> Uh, he's feeding it some, um... Oh, yeah, some... what what do they feed babies in, in, uh... Yeah, what... In the Netherlands. What do, what, what do babies eat there? <laughs> yes, I don't think that's quite what we were asking. <laughs> well, I'm glad babies eat there. That's all we need to know. <laughs> Entire cheese, cheese wheels. wheels. Yeah, I think that I think he's just basically, yeah, Rook worst in cheese wheels. I think that Yoda is baby Yoda is going to be so plugged up uh, when this is ready to go. And uh, let me see. I think we need to bring Cat along. The Doc was done with this. He is out of it. There's not room in the tractor. Okay. Um. Yeah. So we got Weeman. With his rookwurst and cheese. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a cheese and rookwurst sandwich. <laughs> oh, that's actually mighty tasty looking. It does look good. Oh, wow. That looks great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we do have... I, again, we call it, I believe we call it Polar Sausage over here, mm, um, right. which is funny, but hey, you know, yeah, because I think they called Rookwurst was not, did not test well. It, it. Yeah, they should change it to Rook Best. Rook Fest? Yeah, Rook Best. Rook best, not Worst, Best. Yeah, I like Baby Yoda is just basically hamming out on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, he looks really happy. Yeah, I know. He's like, you who know. wouldn't be? Who wouldn't be? Everybody in Starfleet loves you. <laughs> okay. So he's eating this. That's great. We're gonna have to have some uh, converse, adult conversations uh, with with the. Um... Oh, do I actually have dice dice roller today? Well, it's not generating an error. So that's a plus. It's also not running. So oh well. Mm. I was I was hoping to get, to get my nice dice roller working, but okay. Eh, you know, it, if it happens, it happens, right? Yeah, that's like magic dice. Okay, so uh, we're going to have to have some discussions with the Gaslights, and they're going to have mm -hmm. to just deny everything. Of course. Right. Deny, deny, deny. Yeah, deny everything, and there are five lights, man. Uh, that kind of thing is happening. It goes back and forth. Um, mm -hmm. Cat, and also the funny thing is, what I was what I was thinking of is when they saw us coming, mm -hmm. I was going to do this. Um, it doesn't all hang together because we got too many jokes in <laughs> this. As if there's ever too many. <laughs> There, that's what I wanted. Oh. <laughs> They're each wearing a MAGA hat. <laughs> that's actually looking pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm actually a little, I'm proud of that. Well, I guess they grabbed Willow by the pussy. Yes, they did. I've been trying to keep it PG, but okay. Mm. Um, but yeah, so the so basically, uh, they're trying to deny everything. What kind of thing will we get as leverage over these guys? Uh, are we going to threaten to just leave the baby? We could threaten to leave the baby. Uh, or well, we could say, um... Actually, we can threaten to turn them into Disney. Because they're the ones that brought the baby into the universe. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, they, they must have been, they must have been, you know, going over into Disney World or what, Disney space or whatever it is. Yeah, they're going to get in trouble. You're going to get in trouble. Yeah. Because you have totally fucked up the universe. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, considering Paramount is for sale for $50 or something. <laughs> um, and I like the idea that they were using, um, they were tapping into the Force. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, into the Force because their lightsabers were puny. Absolutely. Yeah, because they have lightsabers, uh, light sticks. Light rods, yeah. So, well, this call this could also be maybe Cat whips out her 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 her, her nuclear saber or whatever it was. Yep. <clears throat> uh, they're, they're totally, you know, terrified of a powerful woman. Yeah, they are. They are totally t power, uh, worried about a powerful woman who also has is litigious. Yes. Who has a good lawyer. Okay, where did I dump the... So, of course, I take my eye off the lightsaber. Mm. Cat, cat produces a lightsaber with a bloody hand a bloody attached. Hand. <laughs> I feel that will absolutely get some attention. That is quite threatening. <laughs> yep, so cat, cat, uh... And I do like the idea that that was probably one of those Chinese knockoffs was, oh, shouldn't there be a hand attached to it? 
Yeah, they're totally quaking in their lamp. They're they're totally totally messed up. Um, so what they're gonna she's gonna do is force them to open a portal. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, just yeah, let them do it. Because they've been well, that's how they've been getting. That's why I said that they tapped into the force over there to to make their light rods better. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basically, they'll open the portal where they get their energy from. We're going to go over in the tractor, I presume. Yep, yep. Because why not? <clears throat> I have no idea how the ship's going to explode. Um, but we could... didn't say which ship. and I mean, it could just be the tractor, but... Uh, we could do that. Okay. Um... And I, I like the idea that we get here and that space is noisy. We get here and there's a cacophony of sound when we when we beam when we uh, beam in. What kind of sound? Well, space sounds because Star Wars has space sounds, right? Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, so that's the that's the funny that's gonna be my joke personally is that. Um, Plus, there's a lot of singing. Huh. There's a lot of singing in Star Wars. Well, no, we're we're it's the whole Disney universe over there. Oh, there's pew pews. Oh, <laughs> Galadvin's making a, a request for not the tractor, but I'm gonna follow uh, Pun Donkey's rule, which is no. <laughs> Damn straight, it's the tractor. Um, yeah, so we've got a super loaded up thing here right now, so, uh, I've got rid of those, the, the bro dudes. The bro lights. The bro lights. Yeah, Put it's a, is it a bro light? light? No, it's a bro light. Mm -hmm. I should break the saber down a little bit, have that with her. Uh, has, has the actor who plays Weeman in this picture, he's in the Star Wars universe, isn't he? Um... Uh... Well, he was originally Wicked from, uh... Yep, a... yep, that's it. Yeah, we, we show uh, up, do we show up just on Wicked's Ewok. planet? Yeah, he's an Ewok. <laughs> Can I swap, uh, Weeman out for an Ewok now? Yeah, yeah, he, he, he changes he changes. he crosses over. Yeah, he changes the second we cross over. He changes the second we cross over. <laughs> Whoa, uh, what the Google fuck? search. <laughs> Ewok Wicket. Mm. There he is, stuffed, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> it's very Yoda like, too, baby Yoda. Oh, yeah. Lucasfilms does not miss a frickin' trick, boy. <laughs> An opportunity to mark it as a toy. <laughs> Okay, um, copy image, back to this, back to the duo. Okay, uh, Weeman, I gotta just ungroup you, can remove you. Mm -hmm. And we see that, yes, <laughs> Weeman just, Weeman just shows up like this now. Yep. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, I don't think Yoda, Baby Yoda cares. He's still eating. Um, e Weeman becomes an Ewok. Uh, let me see. What else we got to do with it now? I mean, is he going to just now go yub yub all the time? Yep, yep. And going to want to eat? He'd be cannibalistic. Oh, no, he's gonna fight, he's gonna start fighting Baby Yoda for the sandwich. <laughs> Crazy kids. Yeah, I think that there's gonna be a fight between them for a bit. Yeah, death battle. I like the idea that we men and Yoda, like, are engaged in a, in a fight. So basically, you know, scurrying and, and... Uh, 
uh, hide and seek inside the tractor and whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you thought the nursery was out of control. Uh, they're scurrying and hiding. Uh, mm -hmm. Does this disturb the tractor and cause us to crash land somewhere? Are, yeah, are we going to end up on the Ewok planet, Endor? Uh, no, we're going to end up on some other dumb planet. Well, we're going to learn Star Wars universe. We're going to end up on Tatooine. Because okay. that's the only planet in the universe. And it's the only planet that matters. But it's the only planet that matters. Um, it, but, it, I mean, ultimately, we got to run into Mando. Is that is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. Well, yeah, we can't run into... We gotta run into Mando, but is he is he basically boosting uh uh Boba Fett's ratings right now? Oh oh wow, it's that it's that period. It's right? that period. So we're gonna meet those Well uh, this is the Disney period, my friend. Yeah, we're gonna meet those those uh weird biker that weird biker crew. Oh god. Uh Mando fed. <laughs> oh, it's it's I'm I'm I, I figure if we're gonna do something Bookie Trek is a very flexible format, ladies and gentlemen. Um I mean you know, we can fit as many backstories into this baby as we can have as many di di digressions as you want. Uh Yeah. <laughs> It's all going to happen on Tatooine. Everything has to happen on Tatooine. I mean, I think they've gotten away from it in other shows, but no, they they drug us back to frickin' Tatooine for three of the new shows. <laughs> and that was kind of sad. Well, it wasn't sad. It was just like, yeah, oh, you know, they're, they're bad in 50 It's a small universe problem. It's a know? very small universe problem. Um, I don't need to know about the Brookie War. You, you gave me the picture of a sandwich. You don't need to tell me about the sandwich. I mean, they're trying to sell me the recipe because this is a vital recipe of how to make a sandwich. AI needs to get up and drop. We might drop. have to make it sometime. Huh? We might have to make it sometime. Oh, we've got, we've got sausages here. I was actually going to... I mean, I don't know if we're going to have Tatooine uh, Java's Palace. <laughs> Tatooine Java's plant. Uh, yeah, it's just gonna be this. <laughs> perfect, perfect. I'm, I'm. Uh, we're literally about two minutes from the end. I could see our cast right there. I can see dinner from here. I can see dinner <laughs> tonight from here. <laughs> I'm gonna copy the image. Of this. Um. We're gonna, we're gonna, they're, they're scuttling in, we're on Tatooine, uh, which I do dearly love. Mm hmm <laughs> Uh, let me see, I'm gonna copy and paste that. Oh, that looks like Tatooine. We all wound up on Tatooine. It sounds like a great country song. Oh no, that was the 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 this your Anakin guy. Oh, okay. song was, you know, my my this your Anakin guy. You know, and they they all we all wound up on Tatooine. Well, let's face it. After Weird Al, what more can we do? Yeah, there's there's, there's yeah we are but mere amateurs. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So we got uh, Tatooine. We got Java's palace. That means the tractor. I love the idea. And I'm going to move everybody over <laughs> uh, so that we can get a great picture of, of essentially Jabba's palace with a tractor in front of it. Because mm -hmm. I think that's, I think that's the best, the best, uh, the best picture of that. Um, and also, what becomes of the Yoda, Baby Yoda and Weeman sandwich fight? I think that I, I think it falls out the hatch. No, everybody loses. 
Yeah, I, I, I got the uh, Mr. Goliathman idea. Oh, wait, did we get pizza? Holy cats. Oh, this is, like, so decadent. Uh, yeah. Basically, I've decided that the sandwich falls out of the hatch and gets covered in sand. And that ends the fight. Because that should, uh, Weeman backs off after Baby Yoda gets hold of a knife. <laughs> I mean, who who wants a mouthful of sand, which... Ouch. <laughs> But up, bump. You come here for these quality jokes, you know. <laughs> ah, so it is a sandwich. Uh, I yeah, I I well, because somebody's got to make a comment. But that sand got everywhere in that sandwich. I will say that right now. <laughs> um. Let's face it, though, on Tatooine, probably most food has sand. In oh it. yeah, it's it's um Egypt had that issue too, where well, uh, grain it's, was it's, just it, coarse ground. Yeah, I mean it gets everywhere. It does. I mean, not, no no joke. Um, let me see. Women backs off after. <laughs> I don't think Willem's gonna make another sandwich. I think he's done with this. <laughs> Women backs off after Baby Yoda gets hold of a knife. I do like that one. So I'm going to do this with a sandwich and make it all all nasty. It's going to just go over here. Nobody gets the sandwich. Mm -mm. Weeman and, Weeman and uh, Baby Yoda are, are squaring off with a dagger. Uh, chat with us all week. Oh, gosh, yes. <laughs> Can we get, uh, what? An F's in the chat? I don't know what that is. Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm kind of missing what... You're saying something, and I don't know what it is, sir. Oh, the fate chips. Oh! Because, you know why? He's, he's baby. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> F to pray respect, it's a meme. Look, you know, there's there's people who, who do other things. I'm Googling right now. I have no idea. Oh, <laughs> and and we still needed them, though. And, uh, folks, also, don't forget, uh, we do have a Discord. I don't know who here who is not part of the show. Uh, yeah, yeah look it up. I, I'm letting Rufus do this. He is He is much younger than I am. Okay, it's, uh, yeah, press F to pay respects. It looks like a, a game. It looks like something you do in a game at a, at a soldier funeral. Oh, okay. And I don't know what game it is. Some soldier game. Uh, yeah. Esports thingy. Oh, it's Call of Duty. What is press F to pay respect? Okay. <laughs> there it is. You got it. There Thank it is. You. Apparently, advantaged warfare. Everybody put that's your F that's down not there. helping either. The sandwich is gone. <laughs> oh, he's trying to get a thing to go in. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. We're trying it's to get a chat it's thing happening. going. Okay. It's happening. Yeah, come on, Nat. Put your F in. You just don't give a fuck, Nat. <laughs> Nobody died though, so how come there's a respect thing? Now I don't know what's well, going on. That sandwich was, you know. Oh, it's for the sandwich. <laughs> it's for the sandwich. There you go, man. <laughs> okay, hold on just a second. Yeah, there. That's so sad. No. Nope. Yeah. Uh. All right, because we do have to do something that um would resemble. Oops. <clears throat> All right. All right. So what we're going to do is this. 
You guys are just, I'm, I'm, uh, I now have <laughs> no ability to control whatever I've just done, but I'm going to make this joke happen. Make it happen. Make it so. Make it so. And format. Four many options. Position, size, adjustments, drop shadow, reflection, of course. Size and rotation, no. Adjustments, yes. Opacity. <laughs> there. That's that that was my joke. Okay, people? It's beautiful, I gotta it's, say. It's how I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. That's how we roll here. Uh, let me Enjoy. see. I, I scrolled, so now I can't. Uh, 20 messages? Yeah, Good lord, here. people. <laughs> okay, yeah, we are getting engagement, so I guess this counts as something. Okay, uh, I honestly, I'm thinking uh, right now, Act 3 of Far, Far Away is, is Baby Yoda goes into the house. He reunites with me. With uh, Mandalorian, so sweet. You get some nice, touching music. Yep, and we get this copy, copy image. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, and now and now baby Yoda is sitting there safe and sound. Uh where's cat? Did I bring cat along? Well, you brought I brought the hand. The hand. <laughs> yeah. And uh Because we did take care of Exploded Ship with, uh, uh, with, Exploded with Happiness, essentially. That yeah, was, that was we, our yeah, thing. We're, we're, we're bucking the trend on this explosion, right? Hey, and, uh, let me see, Happiness. Alright, so I'm gonna, I, I gonna say, I'm gonna declare a credits roll on that. Uh. Um, I mean, I think it's just such a good image there with, with, with Yoda back, back where he belongs. Yeah. Or where he where he's never been before. <laughs> yeah, he's never been here before. But okay, uh, I'd love if everybody gets a everyone gets a medal except Weeman. <laughs> the swell of that music. The swell of that music. <laughs> Transparent PNG for metals. Uh, I'm really going to hope that there is something here. I mean, that's clip art max. It may be copyrighted. Really? Tell me again about copyright. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go see if I can get this stupid thing. Uh... We can embed it, or we can download the PNG. It starts in 25 minutes. Mm. I have no idea what the timer is on this, but I'm going to do it. It looks good. That's a good choice. It's a good choice. And I'm going to take this down as a clip art item. And I'm going to bring it over here. And we're going to basically... I'm, I'm going to do it because I want the lols. I want the pictures. Oh, and it is PNG, so thank you for doing that. Yeah, alright, that works. 
Lillian gets one. Newt gets one. And because Newt... Oh, no. Should the non-humans not get one? <laughs> I think Noob and, and Weeman get, they get snubbed. Yeah. <laughs> Um, is my, is my thought. And I'm gonna bring that to the front. Yeah, and, and we're just gonna, music swells. Uh, there we go. And then, uh, for outside of Jabba's Palace, there's something that, that... Uh, the sandwich gets eaten by a toad. Right, or something. Isn't there like a beast with a tongue? <laughs> oh, uh, actually, let's, let's, um, uh, what? Instead of doing a Star Wars creature, let's do that creature from, uh, the, uh, Oh, uh, Galaxy Quest, the one with the big tongue. Yes, okay. <laughs> that one? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, that one. <laughs> It's going to love the sandwich. <laughs> well, and actually, the funny thing is it's just about in the right... the right terrain. Mm-hmm. It's going to sound like the Scooby Snacks. <laughs> Wait, let me grab something. I'll, I'll make some crunching noises. Here it comes. <laughs> Sound. Nom, nom, nom. It's like theater of the mind, man. And I'm and I'm trying to pay attention to. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. There we go. And Greg Knack eats the sandwich. Okay, I think I'm going to declare that that's enough of this shit. Uh, <laughs> next week, everybody, hey, thanks for participating in this. Uh, I think we got us to our thing. Next week, episode 66, A Little Too on the Nose, which deals with the themes of an alternate reality, allegory for current real-life social issue, and someone found in stasis. Uh, so there's that. That is, that is, uh, next week's episode. That's Friday. Now, you're gonna have to hold over with some kind of entertainment. Thank you, uh, Mr. Glad, man. Um, and what, what I want to do is, uh, anybody who hasn't yet, um, uh, please, I really encourage you, if you could, if you could follow us, if you could subscribe to us, uh, visit us in Discord. That would be really helpful. We are actually gaining on uh, some decent... Uh, you know, we're up to... I don't know how many... Let me see if I can find it. Um, I thought I had my... I thought I had my... Uh... Yeah, there's Twitch. Um, yeah, we actually... We actually are... Uh, getting pretty far with things, so... Um, yeah, uh, let me see. Twitch. Predicts of Fate. And we are about... I don't know how many followers. Uh, wherever, wherever our thing is. Oh, yeah, it's on the... It's actually displayed. We're at 474 followers, which is pretty good. Uh, so if you guys know people who just could subscribe or follow, that will be fantastic. Um, and also, keep in mind, like I said... We do a lot of other things here on Architects of Fate. You can hold yourself off. There are some lesser things you can deal with um, in Cookie tr or in um, at Architects of Fate. Keep yourselves entertained until the fa your favorite show, Cookie Track, rolls back around. And that is definitely, um, you know, 
what's happening. So Sunday, and I've managed to sadly not um, there's my cookie trick outro because I, I deleted my outro. Hey, Sunday we've got off the rails and uh, the GM is busy this week so we're going to bring you a just new chatting stream uh, just chatting stream with Natty Shabby who's going to discuss and solve all the world's problems in two hours or less. Uh, you know, come ask, come, a, come ask all the hard-hitting questions. Uh, and then on Monday uh, at 8.30, we have uh, Back in Business, the 208th rule. Sometimes the only thing more dangerous than a question is an answer. Hey, uh, come visit us. It's going to be whether or not Cash Dash strikes a deal and also how much blood Vulcans have inside of them. It's, it's, uh, it's a lot. Here's a hint. A lot. Uh, on Tuesday at 7 p.m., there is Conan Adventures in an Age I'm Dreamed of. I don't have any filler text for it, or color text for it, so I'm going to have to hope that you all will show up, play with them, uh, and uh, throw them some love, uh, because that's what they've, they've, they've been enjoying all this time. And then on Wednesday, uh, I believe this is Drakenheim, but I don't think it is. It's called the Netherdeep, Rise of the Waste Walker. And let me see if I can get the, the color text for that, because I picked the wrong thing. Announcements. Yes, call the Nether Deep, Rise of Waste Walker. One, with one of the banditos forced into fighting in a tournament um, of power to pay off old debts, Balthar decided to enter to support his friend and increase their chance of winning. Now they have reached the semi-final round. Hidden treasure stands opposed to the mortal enemy of the banditos. Oh, I didn't realize he was facing off against that, but oh, okay. Uh, and then uh, Thursday, which uh, Nat's just blown out of here about, um, we have Megaverse of Mayhem the Madness continues. And uh, I don't know what their plan is or uh, what they're supposed to be doing, but Thursday, 8.30, watch the Discord to find out. Uh, the DM Dave is going to talk about the campaign or something. What? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, Mr. Glassman. But you guys agreed that DM Dave is going to talk about the campaign. I don't think so. I think that Mr. Mr. Um, I think Dave is Dave is gotta gotta just put things on hold for a bit. <clears throat> oh, with you. Okay. That would be cool. I think he can talk with you about that or tell you what's going on. Uh, let me see. And then finally, uh, we're coming back around to, uh, you know, Friday. And, oh, in Tomb of Tomb Annihilation. Yeah. Oh, good. Because maybe you can find out what's going on in Tomb of Annihilation because the players have no idea. Um, and then I will say on uh, Friday, we're coming back around to uh, Cookie Trek, which is a little too on the nose. See what happens when the players travel to an alternate reality and confront a social problem that is a little too on the nose. Okay. Uh, so that would that should be fun. Uh, I'm probably not going to throw this to a raid because I didn't have one prepped and we kind of run through a lot uh, today. But what I want to do is uh, say, hey, thanks again, Mr. Glassman. Thank you, uh oneness and otherness and thank you nat for all participating in chat and all the people that didn't well i'm glad that you are here anyway thanks for showing up yep i hope everybody has a great week have a great weekend